Now, if you're interested in Essex-based crime stories, or true crime overall, please press the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. But please be aware, however, that some of the content of the videos may contain graphic or offensive images and language. I do find that generally makes people stay though, not leave. Today we will be looking at some video footage of Tony Tucker, Essex boy's murder victim, and Frank Warren, who was also shot, with the perpetrator having never been caught. The footage shown at the end of the video shows Tucker supplying security for Nigel Benn during one of his fights. Boxing manager Warren also features. It must be asked that the links between the world of professional boxing and organized or gang crimes cannot be ignored, with figures such as the Blundells and the Craze having links with boxing clubs. Tony Tucker was famously killed in a gangland-style execution in December 1995, alongside his counterpart criminals, Craig Rolfe and Pat Tate. They were shot dead with seven rounds of a pump-action shotgun whilst their Range Rover sat stationary at a five-bars country lane gate. Frank Warren was shot in 1989 in Barking, with the culprit never found. He was in the midst of a legal battle at the time and the other person involved was suspected of the crime, but was cleared. Frank claims he knows who shot him, and holds no grudge as that individual has since led a very unlucky life. If you like this video, and enjoy Essex crime stories, please press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.